There was no Elizabeth Granger. Roy just didn't want me and had to find some excuse. I walked to the door, wondering what to do, where to go. One more thing, boss. Ten seconds after you're out that door, I'm going to call the police. I didn't answer or look back. I just ran out of the apartment house and found a cab and had him drive me around and around, through streets and down streets and across streets. I scarcely even saw policemen or people. Finally, I left the cab and began walking around, trying to understand myself and why I killed Roy. And everything that came out of my mind revolted me. I wanted to drink. A dozen drinks, a hundred drinks. You sure you're in the right place, lady? Just give me a double bourbon, scotch, a triple, I don't care. Well, you're old enough. Hurry it up. Here's my money. Hey, Eddie. Get a load of the dough. Now, what would any dame dressed like that come into a place like this? Slumming. What are you, stupid or something? I like to come down where life is rough, where men are men. I've seen lots of them in my day looking for thrills. Yeah? Yeah. What do you think she came in here for? Thought it was the White House or something? Oh, talk, 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 talk. Uh, I'll show you how to handle a doll like that. Buy you a drink, ma'am? Huh? No, get away from me. Oh, now, you don't really mean that. Tony, the drink's on me. Why don't we have it in the booth over here? We can talk, huh? Get away from me. Who do you think you are? All right, Eddie, no sale. Who does she think she is anyway? She's got no right in here unless she wants to be sociable. She's a bum and you know it, Tony. Eddie, can't you see this is a lady? Now go for a walk. Lady? Since when have we had ladies in here? Give me the drink, bartender. Hey, wait a minute. You cheap little bum. Hey, Eddie, that's Dave. Her picture was in the paper this morning. She killed somebody. <laughs> I ran out of there. It was only a matter of seconds until they called the police, so I just ran. I saw a police car, and I ran the other way. Two blocks away, there was another police car at the intersection. I found an alley and ran down and fell headlong over the garbage can into the dirty, foul snow. I couldn't get up, and I cried cold tears. <laughs> Come on, dearie. Come on. What are you doing? You won't need this coat where you're going. <laughs> Leave my coat alone. That's all right, dearie. That's all right. Come on, the dress now. My dress. Ruby, help me get it off. You can't take my dress off me. I can use a fancy dress like that and you can't wear it in jail. <laughs> now tear it off you if I have to. No, please, you can't. All right, here you are. Talk. Oh, Grab her shoes, Ruby, and let's go. Get him. Now, come on. Lift up your head. I got to see you. Oh, don't hurt me. Please. I'm somebody. Uh, yeah, that's what I thought. Ruth Frank. I'm somebody. I'm somebody. by Autolite. Tonight's star, Miss Eve Arden. Suspense. Suspense is produced and directed by Elliot Lewis with music composed by Lucian Morawieck and conducted by Lud Gluskin. The Well-Dressed Corpse was written for Suspense by E. Jack Newman and John Michael Hayes. Eve Arden appears through the courtesy of the Colgate-Palmolive Feet Company, sponsors of Our Miss Brooks.